Okay, welcome back to 5 Minute Lessons. Today we're going to be looking at why some businesses grow and others remain small. We'll be looking at why the owners of a business may want to expand the business, different ways in which businesses can grow, for example internal and external, problems linked to business growth and how these might be overcome, and why some businesses remain small. So, why the owners of a business may want to expand the business? There's benefits of this. Higher profits, more status and prestige, higher salaries for managers or owners with bigger firms, lower average costs, which is the economies of scales, um, and a larger share of the market. There's more influence over suppliers and consumers. So different ways businesses can grow. There's two main ways a business can grow. These are internal growth and external growth. Internal growth occurs when a business expands its existing operations. For example, a hairdresser opening up another shop in a different city. External growth is when a business takes over or merges with another business. Three examples of external growth are below. They are horizontal growth or horizontal integration, vertical integration and a conglomerate integration. Horizontal integration is when one firm merges with or takes over another in the same industry. An advantage of this is economies of scale. As a business produces more, their average costs decrease. Um, another advantage is bigger market share, so a business now gains a bigger market share. Another advantage is that it reduces competitors, so an existing firm now gains their competitors' customers, so they should experience an increase in sales revenue. A negative is that, yes, um, competitors are reduced, but this means that consumers' choices are limited. Um, and it also means that the existing firm has less incentive to innovate and produce different or new goods and services. Um, an example of horizontal integration is Marriott's acquisition of Starwood Hotel and Resort. Vertical integration is when one firm merges with or takes over another in the same industry but at a different stage of production. We have forward vertical, which is integration which takes place closer to the final consumer. For example, a farmer who now sells these crops at a local grocery store or a vehicle manufacturer buying a car showroom business. We've got backwards vertical, which is integration closer to raw materials. A real life example of this is Apple buying a microchip supplier called Dialog in 2018. Now the positives of this is that you get to control the supply chain. There's a cheaper and quicker access to raw materials and you have control over distribution. The negatives are that there are fewer economies of scale and diseconomies of scale can actually take place. So as you grow or as you produce more, um, your average costs actually increase and there's issues of communication and coordination. Conglomerate integration is when one firm merges with or takes over a firm in a completely different industry, also known as diversification. Richard Branson did this in 1970 with his Virgin Group. He was initially just a mail order record shop, but then they diversified and they've got airlines, railways, gyms, and they've even got a phone company. Um, the positives of this is that it spreads risks. There's different ideas and methods which can, which can be shared across different industries. However, it's very risky. You're entering a whole new market, so you don't really know too much about it. Um, and you have no knowledge, so you can become reliant on existing employees. Problems linked with external growth and how these may be overcome. So the first problem is diseconomies of scale. Now, how to overcome this is by operating the business in small units, okay, or doing decentralization. Another problem could be poor communication. How to overcome this is by updating your systems. Use up-to-date systems and methods of communication. Another problem is expansion costs a lot of money. So how to overcome this is just ensure your finance is available and expand slowly. There's no rush. Another problem is integrating is actually difficult. There's different management styles in different industries and different companies. Um, how to overcome this is educate employees with why the business is changing. Some businesses remain small. It could be the type of industry in it the business operates in. For example, with hairdressers, car repairs, window cleaning. Naturally, these are small businesses. It could be the market size. Some markets are small. The total number of customers in shops in rural areas, for example. And the owner's objective. Some owners wish to retain control, so keep their business small. Good luck, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.